Hi, my name is Evangela Mantler. I'm Amin Abdullahi. I'm Emily Terrell. Bianca Swift, and we are juniors from Berg High School. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> <laughs> and this is Food for Thought. I could write you a list of all the minorities that died in 2015, but that wouldn't quite portray the reality of the subject. The reality is there's always someone up here representing the race poem. And an edible plate of metaphors and statistics, well, I'm assuming, because I, like many of you, have stopped trying to digest what they are forcing us to chew. This is not what I ordered when I sat down at this table. It is bland and unpalatable. So instead, I listened to the murmurs of the room in an effort to whet my appetite. Why are race poems more interesting? Oh, I didn't realize that talk about the silent abuse of an entire culture of people ruined your appetite. Should we uh, go back in time when lynching was in fashion, have separate schooling? Do you want me to give up my seat? Is the fruit a little too strange for your liking? Sorry that dining with people instead of corpses isn't appealing. Don't, Don't you, you know, know that racism, racism is over? over? No. This world is full of people so used to the war you have stopped seeing it. Just because you can't see colors doesn't mean they cease to exist. It just means you've rid yourself of the burden of acknowledging them. Well, well what, what are, are you, you doing, doing to, to fix, fix it, it then? What am I doing to fix it? I filled cupboards with my poems. I typed menus of equality that none of you bother to read anymore. I, I don't, don't want to hear any more race poems. poems. Well, good, because I don't want to write anymore. I don't want to defend my case to a jury that has stopped listening. But how will I ever get out of this prison? Bars crafted out of skin cells, cemented into a skeleton that is just as white as yours is, I promise. We don't want your tepid agreement. Shallow understanding only ever adds more water for us to drown in. You're, You're making, making us an ocean of race poems. poems. And I have nothing to grab onto. We've been screaming so loudly. Opening our mouths and inhaling so much ignorance. We've, We've gotten, gotten sick of force feeding, feeding ourselves our own words. Until we are vomiting from their toxicity. I am choking on appetizers made out of inequality. Won't somebody give her the Heimlich? My voice is going raw from trying to shout over the blare of indifference. How, How are your ears not screeching with the screams of the suffering? I can assure you that this is not freedom that is ringing. How do you know what you don't want to hear when you are deaf to the pleas of what is being said? Don't you know that I hate race poems too? That, that we hate race poems too? But who? Who else to serve these poems? So we'll offer you a seat. Come sit down at our table. You don't have to like the food, but, but everyone has to eat. <laughs>